The fighting in Afghanistan has now reached close to the heart of the capital. A car bomb explosion followed by several blasts and rapid gunfire rocked Kabul on Tuesday night. The Taliban now have claimed responsibility for the attack and warned that there would be more attacks against top Afghan officials. While the fighting so far has been relegated to the rural areas, the Tuesday night attack took place not far from the Green Zone, a heavily fortified area that houses several government officials and embassies, including the U.S. mission. At least four people were killed in the attack. The Interior Ministry officials say the attack seemed to target the acting defense minister's residence. Bismillah Khan Mohammadi, Afghanistan's acting defense minister, said that neither him nor his family members were injured though several of his bodyguards were wounded. A suicide attack carried out by wild terrorists targeted my residential house. During the incident, by the grace of God, neither me nor my family members were hurt. But unfortunately, a number of my bodyguards were wounded. I assure my beloved countrymen that such attacks cannot have any impact on my willingness to defend my countrymen and my country. A Kabul police spokesperson said at least 30 civilians have been rescued from the blast site and the city's emergency hospital said in a tweet it had so far received 11 people injured in the attack. The United States condemned the killing and called on the Taliban to immediately end the violence. Unequivocally uh, condemn uh, the bombing uh, and we continue to uh, stand by uh, our partners, uh, our Afghan um, uh, partners. Uh, we join in calling on the Taliban and all parties to immediately end the violence to agree to a permanent and comprehensive ceasefire and engage fully in peace negotiations to end the suffering uh, of the Afghan people. This attack comes as the Taliban gained control over several key provincial capitals in the country. These are Lashkargah, Kandahar and Herat. The latest provincial capital under attack is Lashkargah. It is a huge strategic defeat for the government which had pledged to defend the strategic centers. Afghan forces appealed to residents of Lashkargah to vacate as the fighting continued to regain control of the city. The Afghanistan government launched airstrikes backed by the U.S. in a desperate effort to defend the city. The fall of Lashkargah would be a major turning point in the offensive the Taliban have waged over the past months. And if the terror outfit succeeds, it would be the first provincial capital captured by the Taliban in years. According to the United Nations, at least 40 civilians have already been killed in the crossfire. As the fighting intensifies, the United States on Tuesday admitted that one of the many concerns about Afghanistan and the security situation there is that it could spiral into a civil war since the U.S. and NATO allies began withdrawing troops. Violence has only escalated as Taliban launched an offensive to gain more territories. Look, we're going to be looking to their actions. Uh, they have said that uh, they see the utility of a negotiated solution. They are engaged uh, in Doha. Um, but the simple point remains that if they attempt and seek to do otherwise, if they seek to contravene what they have said, uh, then they will be an international pariah. They won't have the support of their people. They won't have the support of the international community. And the concern on the part of all of us, one of the many, one of many concerns, is that the result uh, will be civil war. Uh, will be a civil war in which the Afghan people do not have and won't be in a position to achieve the safety and security uh, in which they deserve to live. Okay. And with the tensions now reaching close to the capital, the heart of the capital, Kabul, a car bomb explosion followed by several blasts and rapid gunfire rocking Kabul on Tuesday night. The concerns have only worsened. The Afghan people have been bearing the brunt. 40 civilians, according to the United Nations, have been killed as a result of those tensions. 
in Lashkargah. Joining us on the broadcast this minute is our correspondent Anas Malik, who has been tracking all those developments, is now joining us live from Kabul. Anas, the Taliban have now claimed responsibility for this explosion that rocked Kabul on Tuesday night. What more do we know at this point? Well, the Taliban indeed have claimed responsibility, Molly. I'm standing right outside the residence of the uh, Afghan, acting Afghan Defense Minister, just General Bismillah Khan Mohammadi, who was the apparent target of uh, the last night uh, uh, terror attack. Uh, the Taliban, in a statement, have claimed that he said uh, they've said that uh, that they would continue to target those from uh, the administration of uh, uh, the current government, and they say that they want to justify it, saying that they are targeting those uh, who are uh, targeting civilians. This is what the Taliban have maintained. But this is more of a call of war for the people of Kabul because as of now, uh, the uh, the conflict was not in the cities. The conflict was at least not in the capital city of Kabul. The destruction right behind me, uh, ca the magnitude of the and intensity of the blast that caused uh, that was here uh, uh, that that occurred here last night can be very well understood just because just uh, after looking at the magnitude of destruction uh, that has been caused by that in by that blast, eight people are said to have lost lost their life. Hospital sources indicated at least 10 are dead. At least 20 plus people are now said to have been injured in this blast. 35 civilians were evacuated. The house right next to the house of Afghan Defense Minister. Uh, at least four attackers had gone and had uh, uh, rushed into the, uh, in the into the house. Who was an anti-Taliban uh, MP? Uh, we're seeing that there is an increased uh, increased number of attacks, rise in violence rather since the 14th of April, since the announcement of withdrawal came. And this is just a continuation to, of that. Residents fear that they uh, uh, that they've suffered enormously at the hands of Taliban and terror-linked elements for over years and with the U.S. withdrawal uh, and the, the intensity of uh, attacks increasing, they fear for their lives right now. Yes, Molly. And the biggest concern, apart from the fact that the fighting is escalating across Afghanistan, is that it has now reached very close to the heart of the capital, Kabul. What this means, Anas, is that uh, there will be uh, a lot of cause of concern over the next few days and weeks as the tensions escalate on the ground. Well, absolutely, it is a cause of major concern for the people of Kabul, not just for the people of Kabul, for the people of associated areas as well, because Kabul was relatively sought, uh, thought to be secure. Uh, not just Kabul, but th there are uh, other districts just like, this, uh, just like the province of Panjshir, which was relatively thought to be secure. There was a sense of insecurity in Kabul. But there was not a security situation per se. This is the first major attack by the Afghan Taliban uh, since the Doha deal that was done last year. And now with that, they have act they have uh, practically announced the call of war on the people of Kabul. So that means we're looking at more and more civilian casualties. And uh, with that, the people, it's the people of Afghanistan who would continue to suffer for, uh, for, for almost two decades. They suffered at the hands of increasing violence that was due to uh, the fight or the war on terror and now this fight as the u.s exists this doesn't seem to come to an end and the people would continue to suffer there is increased concerns with regards to uh, 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 within the residents of kabul with regards to their security because they thought that the capital of kabul was relatively secure but that, uh, but those thoughts were not just true and uh, the taliban did attack in the heart of kabul and then as i said there is a prevalent sense of insecurity that is here in the uh, uh, among the residents of Kabul. Yes, Molly. Anas Mali getting us the very latest from Kabul. Thanks very much for those updates for now. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.